Hello guys and welcome back to another episode of Days Gone. Well, it's a bit of a change this week. One, we're on Twitch again. Two, we are uh, no longer patched and no longer have a crew. Because in the last episode, we went further afield and took the long journey away from all the campments that we were protecting, so keeping up with their businesses and doing all the work for them. Because we're going to find our lost love that possibly could be alive, but also could possibly could be dead. We don't know yet because we're gonna find out through the next few games. I don't know how long, much longer this game there is, because it feels like we're coming close to the end, but this may just be another chapter. I have no idea. But we are here live on Twitch, so you can leave some comments if you're watching, and we are playing Dane's Gone on a Friday, like we do every Friday. And I'm gonna be playing this on my YouTube channel, but I am now playing it here on my Twitch. But that is because I'm playing and doing Inktober at the moment. I don't want to keep in continuity. But uh, like I said, guys, if you want to keep up with the story so far, you can check out the videos uploaded and streamed on the YouTube channel. Same name, different place. Without further ado, let's get into today's episode because we've gone nomad. And like I said, we're not patched anymore. So uh, we'll have to see what uh, what in lies of us next. Last time we went further afield and we've been picked up by a uh, army encampment, which possibly is where our loved one is. But like I said, I don't know any more than that. So let's get back into it and where we left off last time. Bit of a loading screen. Uh, if you can't hear me as well, guys, um, hopefully you can. I'm using a different microphone again because uh, my normal microphone is plugged into the PC where actually I've been doing Inktober from. If you're going to find out more about that, go to my YouTube channel because um, it's illustration for a whole month, different prompts for different days. Captain, sir, we had him. We did. Found his bike still smoking. I bet you lost him, huh? No, sir. I mean, yeah, we lost him. We ran into a rager, sir. Where's Mullins? Flores? Flores is dead, sir. I'll have Mullins with the body. That'll be all, Corporal. Go get some fuel. Head back to Mullins. You know what to do. Yeah. Yes, sir. If it wasn't for this man, we'd all be dead, sir. I sort of promised him some food and a safe place to camp tonight, sir. Corporal, get the fuck out of here. And you are? Name's Deacon St. John. Name's Corey. Derek Corey. Are you okay? Yeah, I'm sorry. Um, 
sorry, a little tired. I've been on the road for a long time. Your man Russell said you were recruiting? Are you interested? I've been looking to settle down, yeah, find a camp. I'm interested. Come on. So, how long you been One, drifting? Two, Hard to one, say. Two, uh, you one, lose track two, of time out there, the you know. Ammo. Well, there's a couple of camps I used to do runs for bounty hunting, mostly. Freaks or men? Both. I had a reputation for being able to track shit down, you know? Well, which camps? Where are they? You know, past the Farewell Valley. It doesn't matter. They're gone now. They're uh, Russell said you were there when Silver Lake was overrun. That was a shit show, I can tell you. Uh, any survivors? A few. Here. Take this. Militia script. Camp credits. Payment for helping my men. Use them at any of the commissaries. Okay. You gonna join up? Stick around. We're getting ready to ride out of here soon. Getting ready to ride out where? You said you had some tracking skills. Yeah, some. This isn't the life of a drifter. We're fighting a war out here. You sure you're up for it? Is that the best you got? I can recruit you. But the Colonel is the only one who can swear you in. You stick around. Give us a hand. I'll take you to him myself. I'll be here. Good. Oh, Jesus. Jesus, motherfucker has my ring. He took it from Sarah. He had to take it from Sarah because she wouldn't have given it to him. So that means that she's got to be here. Hmm. He doesn't look like militia. That ring in uh, his possession move, move, is the move, pretty much wedding on. ring he gave to her. Uh, the ring he gave to her at the very beginning of the game uh, to keep her safe or to say he was coming along once, uh, once he'd sorted the shit out but the shit got too big. And uh, yeah, this is where we are now. Why are you not finished with my obstacle course? Do you like it that much? Do you want to run it again? And be my guest, princess! Yes! Yes! Sir. Yes! Sergeant! Yes. Sir. Sir. Sir! Moving! Sir! There's the kitchen. I'll be picking up some of that. I expect I'll be doing a little bit of hunting if I need to, but I don't think I want to keep this go, camp alive. Because they're all army. And again, you might be handy. Come on, you gotta work. Hey. I ha haven't seen you around before. L Lucas Monroe. Yeah, uh, I just shipped in, you know. Uh, Deacon St. John. Well, uh, take a look around. I, I, I got all kinds of bike parts, if, if you got credits. Yeah, thanks. Well, th there you go. Well, I can't get on it, so... I'll see, see you later. Hey. Hey, uh, how's it going? New around here? Name's Ava Bergstrom. Friends call me Bergie. Deacon St. John, two, yeah, one, I, I two, just got follow here. The cadence. Well, yeah, yes, Deacon sir, St. John, yes, you do your job, and we'll get along just fine. How's that? <laughs> Let's work, people. Yes, ma'am. Ah, yes, uh, gimme, gimme, gimme. That'll last you. Oh, I got a trust level two. Oh my god, I got to start all over again. Oh my god, I have to start all over again. I got so much trust from the other campments. I was able to buy the good stuff. Yes, 
see if this will come in handy at all. I gotta ask, you, uh... Well, you seem a long way from home out here. I was studying theater at the community college here. Go fighting Kratikus, yes? I am, I was an exchange student from Yokohama in Japan. I kind of figured that. Yes. Anyway, as you say, a long way from home. Yes. That's it. Increase. All right. Yep, that was that bear from last time. Oh, it okay. took a while to take Goodbye. down. One, two, one, two, one, two. Follow the cadence. Okay, yes, yes, sir. Yes, sir. yes, sir. yes sergeant. Let's work, people. Keep moving. Moving, Sergeant. Yes, sir. Yes, sir. Yes, sir. You don't look like you're uh, doing much. I've actually got a truck, which I don't think I've ever seen in this game. Well, not one that works together. anyway. Keep it together. Yes, Sergeant. Yes, yes, Sergeant. yes, Sergeant. Hey, uh, you don't look very militia to me. No, um, man. Name's Wade. Wade Taylor. You can call me Wade. Deacon St. John. <laughs> Holy Listen. shit. Deacon St. John. Is your old man a preacher or something? No. Man, that is a hell of a name. All right, listen. You wait. see this, man? This is some crazy shit. Yeah. Whew. So what, you joining up, becoming an army man, you playing soldier and shit? I don't know, maybe. Listen, <laughs> uh, you look like you just came in from out the shit, right? Yeah, man, yesterday. Okay, yesterday. I've, been I've been waiting to see the colonel, whatever the hell that is. Traveling with some people, we got separated. You see anyone that looked like this around here? Uh, nah, man. Ooh, she is a looker. I'd hit that, you know. <laughs> Uh, I gotta go, man. They're checking me for lice or some shit. Good luck to you, Deacon St. John. Jesus, what a name. Jesus, that dude's fucked up. He wouldn't remember Sarah if she slapped him in the face. Oh, come on, Sarah. Come on. Where the hell are you? You're here. Somewhere. Maybe in these tents. Maybe in here. Not here. Let's check this one. The infirmary. I mean, with her background, that's where she would be, right? Oh, damn it. I should not hear either. Better. Russell said you had a radio. 
Yeah, yeah, uh, I'm here. Meet me at the gate. On my way. Getting ready to ride out. You still coming? Ready when you are. Looks like you put a lot of work into this. Yeah, some. Maybe they ended up there. Uh, I thought maybe you were after something. For a bounty, I mean. Yeah, no. I tracked men over long distances before, but not this far. No bounty's worth that. Here. It's done, sir. Make sure you make a marker. Yes, sir. All right. You two head back to Diamond Lake. Grab, uh, Taylor was his name? Yes, sir. Yeah. Take him to the Colonel. I'll be there in 1800. Sir? Military time, Corporal. You're supposed to know this by now. Oh, yes, sir. Get the fuck out of here. Yes, sir. You find something? Uh, how long is, uh, Vasquez? How long has Vasquez been with you guys? A couple of weeks, maybe more. <laughs> well, he's been busy. What the hell? You guys been having trouble with supply runs, marauder attacks? Yeah. Okay, we're gonna go on foot from here. On foot? Why? <laughs> because Vasquez came out here for a reason. I can't track him from the bike. God. All righty. Where do we start? It's been snowing, so, uh, there won't be any boot prints. Come on, I want to look inside the cabin. Okay, I'm following you. So you stole rations, ammo? Yes. This is an MRE. It's half eaten, so looks like your men rode up on him when he wasn't expecting it. His bike's still out front, which means that he went out the back. Wait, over here. What'd you find? 
The fence has been cut. And the rust. So it was cut recently. Yeah, come on, this way. Hold on for a second. Look. Over here. Tracks? Uh, yeah, we're in luck. <sighs> this way. Wait, 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 hold up. Uh, you find something? Yeah, shell casing. Recently fired. He, uh, well, he stopped to shoot at something. Come on, down here. Ah, oh, what is that? Hold up, hold up. What, is it infected? Uh, it doesn't look like it. Um, come on, I want to take a look at that deer carcass. Go on, get out of here. What are you doing? That ever work for you? Yelling at a wolf? Yeah, depends. On what? On how hungry it is. <laughs> Look out! <laughs> I see him. Why do they make me kill wolves in this game? Yeah, it looks like it. Nice work. I can sell this. Take a look at this thing. Looks like the MREs weren't enough for your man. Clean gunshot right through the head. Yeah, the wolves must have heard the shot. Decided they wanted it more than Vasquez. Yeah, the rest of the pack came at us from back that way, from the east. You think they chased off Vasquez, leaving one to guard the carcass? <sighs> That's my guess. You guys got a lot of wolves out here? The ones that aren't infected, I mean? Yeah, we get reports almost every day. When I was a kid, growing up, there were no wolves in Oregon. I mean, a few coyotes, but no wolves. They've been driven to extinction by ranchers and farmers, timber companies. Well, it looks like they're making a big comeback. Hold up, hold up, hold up. But what is it? It's a backpack. It's one of ours. Looks like they almost got to him. And he shrugged off the pack to get away. No, no, no. To buy time. He landed on his ass. Tried to scramble away, but then the wolf lunged. Vasquez dropped him. Two shots. You can tell all that. Yeah. I can hear it, don't worry. This one is marked on our map. They're scattered all over the region. Now, yeah, maybe that explains why uh, Vasquez came through here. Let's go around. Well, I mean, I, I 
I, I can have a go at taking right it out. With you. Sons of bitches. You ever take on a swarm? Yeah, I've done it before. You just gotta keep moving. Well, look, if you're gonna join the militia, you must stay focused on the mission. We're not out here to fight freaks. Being in the shit, killing the freaks, it kinda goes hand in hand, doesn't it? Okay, um, put some distance between us and the graves. The cold weather's gonna bring out even more of them. I think they can smell the corpse from about a mile out. Part of our slash and burn strategy is to find these grave sites, dig them up, and burn them along with everything else. Yeah, well, good luck with that. I've seen hundreds of them. It's just in this part of the state alone. Yeah, we gotta start somewhere. That's it. Keep going. All right, where now? Keep heading east. Hey, there's a road ahead. Hold up a second. What do you think? Is anyone else tracking them? Not that I know of. Huh. Well, but he's either dead, or he's got a lot of friends. You see how his tracks have been overridden by bikes. A lot of bikes. Hmm. Okay. Come on. Let's see where they're heading. You said cold weather brings out the freaks? Yeah, yeah. Cold, snow, rain, hell, even clouds. Well, like I said before, you know your freaks. When we get to command, there's some people who want to talk to you. People? The Colonel will fill you in, if he lets you join. Yeah, yeah, I think you said that already. Look, he runs a tight outfit. I just don't want you to get your hopes up. Hey, don't worry about me. I don't really give a damn either way. Hey, wait. Hear that? Yeah, it's coming from the logging camp over there. Is that on your map? Yeah. Wow, oh, that means it's also on Vasquez's map. Come on. If Vasquez is there, what would your strategy be? Well, he's not alone. We know that from the tracks. What's that militia penalty for going AWOL? Hanging by the neck until dead. Why? Well, it means Vasquez isn't coming without a fight. Sabotage him. Okay, I was going to sneak and have a look see, but whatever. Doesn't look like there's much scrap out and about in these uh, uphills. You see your man? Yeah. That's him. Well, looks like you guys need to start doing background checks on your recruits. He seems to be right at home. Oh, well, let's wait here. I'll radio for backup. Get your goddamn hands off me! Oh, oh this one's a fighter, boys! On. What do you think? Oh, come on, Bob. Oh, see about that. <laughs> oh, hell no. What? Uh, I just got this problem with assholes who hurt unarmed women. I'm giving you an order. Order? <laughs> You see me wearing a red armband? You don't give me orders yet. You do whatever the hell you want. Damn straight.
Why? Uh, you don't know nothing, mate. What are you doing? Dun dun da 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 Gonna kill you all You're all gonna die Oh damn it Just wasted that. <laughs> None of you got any decent weapons. shoot from okay must be in that house
Hey, Drifter. I like your style. <laughs> Run all your... Shut up. That last of them. Deal with your man. Vasquez? He isn't my man. Not anymore. I can use this. I can use all of this. So I've got any scrap though. I'm gonna go and raid the places now. Time for a raid. Lots of cans of fuel here. Gotta remember that. Sure, it'll come in handy. Still no bloody scrap though, which I need the most, as always. I'm not going to be happy until I've completely emptied these places out. in there right yeah <laughs> look a bit white there mate hello what's this in fact can't break nothing down Ooh. That'll come in handy. Yeah, my idea was to set him off or her off in on a rampage, get them distracted. I would if I could get to him. Oh wait, did I smash that down? No. No. No, it won't, so why? How?
Hello. Yeah, this is it. I can get in through here. Oh shit. Wait, whoa, 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 whoa. Easy, easy. I'm not gonna I'm just here to help. I don't need your goddamn help. Yeah, it definitely okay. looks like it. I'm just gonna move over here. Stay the hell away from me. Yep. Hold on, hold on now. We're not with them. Think I give a damn who you are? Okay. Okay. Not wrong with doing a bit of reading. Gunpowder. He's very dead. Death by stabbing of cock. Woo! Oh damn, I've got to do a pack of blood there. Back this way again. How was that? Just your typical damsel in distress. Vasquez? Done. Way done. Captain Corey? Come in. This is Corey. We're here. Heading up the road to the main gate. Hold your position there. We're coming. What about the enemy? They've been, uh, uh neutralized. Uh, Hold your position. Hold, ooh, hold my position indeed. My battery just died on my lemon controller again. This happens every stream. I should really get a controller that does have the uh, battery, really, shouldn't I? Uh, I suppose it's a good point to have a little break. Check everything. Is it working okay? We'll be back in a minute, guys.
Now I've got the other controller, not the one I like, but uh, I like this game. Okay, I've got the controller. Uh, again, it was not the one I like, but uh, I love this game. What about you? Hurry out. Come on. We brought up your bikes, Captain. Thought we'd save you the walk back. That'll be all, Corporal. So how'd I do? Did I pass? Pass? Oh, you've been watching me all day. I figured this was what? Some kind of test. <laughs> no. Nothing quite as formal as all that. As you can see, our pool of recruits isn't what it used to be. <laughs> yeah. But yeah. You passed. Of course I passed. And Deacon St. John. Oh. You ready to meet the Colonel? <laughs> Yeah, sure. Why the hell not? So, St. John, where did you serve? Before the ship went down. And you know what an MRE looks like. You know how to recon an enemy position. You know cover in advance, tactical maneuvers. So, where did you serve? Marines? Army? I try not to talk about it, you know? I mean, first year out here, Seemed like anyone who used to wear a uniform had a target on their back. I, uh, I was in the Army, 10th Mountain. I did a full tour in Afghanistan. So how about you? Anyone who's ex-military has a, a certain bearing. None of your soldiers have it, but you do. Like I said, you got a good eye. I was in the Air Force 10 years, part of SAC. There ain't no missile silos in Oregon. I was on vacation. Lucky. Before SATCOM went down, I got hourly reports from across the country. You think it was bad out here? Everything east of the Mississippi was overrun within two days. So, are you familiar with this area? Yeah, I grew up in a town north from here. Uh, it's called Farewell, you know it? No. Uh, it sounds like a fitting place to be living at the end of the world. <laughs> yeah, tell me about it. So maybe you have been here before. Yeah, I've been here uh, a few summers back. Me and my old lady, or my wife, we stopped by here on our honeymoon. You got a pick? Uh, of your wife, I mean. <laughs> her name was Carrie. We were married 12 years when... Anyway, it was a long time ago. So, he's not seeing my old lady. Or is he? What's the story? Major Glory. Hmm. You know, I, I think this might mean keep out. Huh? Oh, no, no, that doesn't apply to us. Why, because we can't read? Because we don't obey the law. <sighs> Speak for yourself. After you. You know, making me a co-conspirator, not very chivalrous. Chivalrous what? No, it means, um... Oh. Right. I never learn. I'm sorry about that. Oh my god, you should have seen the look on your face. Oh, I bet it was funny. Yeah, if I'd owned a cell phone, I'd have taken a picture. Well, for just this once, I'm glad that you don't. Oh, come on, don't start on that again. Hey, I didn't say anything. You brought it up. You just did.
So, where are we going? Just follow the trail. You'll see that it's not that far. What would my mom say if she knew I was out on a midnight stroll in the middle of nowhere with an outlaw biker? I don't know. She'd say, honey, you better wear your sweater. Very funny. Yeah, she wouldn't say anything, you know? You weren't supposed to tell them about us, remember? Oh, come on, Deacon. I said that a long time ago. You know I didn't mean that. Hey, look, I'm not judging. I'm just... I mean, I, just, I haven't told my old man. That's because your father's dead. Well, yeah, I mean, there's that. The question is, have you told anyone in the MC that you're dating a nice girl from Seattle and not some bimbo from whatever strip club you guys live in? Oh, well, okay, wait a second. No, we don't live in a strip club. I mean, we have a lifetime membership there, that's true, but we don't live there. And second, uh, I did tell them. Yeah, as a matter of fact, I did. Wait, you, you did? <laughs> yeah. Oh, come on, don't sound so surprised. They find your PhDs to be very sexy. <laughs> I bet. So, you know this is way past my bedtime, right? Oh, I know. Come on, stop. I mean, I really do have to get over a little more. Yeah? Uh, how's that going? I mean, uh, well, you never want to talk about it, so... It's nothing. It's just... Ugh, it's just this project, and we've got these execs flying in from New York to honor her progress, and the suits at our facility are installing a new lab without even showing me the spec, and... Ooh, well, I thought you didn't want to talk about it. <laughs> Sorry, it's just... You know what, like I said, it's nothing. Anyway, thank you for dragging me away from all that. Yeah, no problem. Show me? Say what? Well, these are marijuana plants, and that's an irrigation system, so this here, and this is a pot farm. Oh, hey, yeah, look at that, pot farm. You dragged me out in the middle of the night to the middle of nowhere to show me the MC's illegal growing operation. Uh, yeah, I mean, you got me. <laughs> I was hoping that you could give us some tips, you know, cultivation. Put all those PhDs to work on something actually useful. Jesus, TQ, what? <laughs> okay, I get it. This is not actually what you wanted to show me, right? No, of course it's not. Come on, keep following the trail. We're almost there. Ugh, you think I would learn? You think I would learn, but I never learned. Nope. That moonlight, it is, it's so beautiful. Keep going, uh, we're almost there. You ever wonder what it would be like if just everywhere all at once the lights went out and everyone could just see the world just like this? What, you mean like all dark and shadowy and depressing? I mean the moonlight, the wildflowers, the fireflies. Oh, I see you were kidding again. Okay, you don't take anything seriously. Oh, I take everything seriously. I do. You do not. Like when I suggested moving some of my stuff over to your place, you pretended that I was joking. Uh-uh, no, that's not true. I pretended I didn't hear you. There's a big difference. You should have seen the look on your face. And you know, I do have a cell phone and I took a picture. You want me to show you? My God, you're a scientist. Can we be rational about this? Okay, first of all, all I said is that we should think about moving in together. You know, because we get to spend more time together and, you know, take the next step. What's irrational about that? I have a toothbrush at your place. Oh, I'm so sorry. You know what? You're right. That is a huge commitment. Well, I mean, do you know how much a good toothbrush costs? Okay, see, there you go again. Every time I try to talk about our future, you turn it into a joke. Okay, all right. We do need to talk about it, and we will talk about it, but just hold on for a second, because I want to... <laughs> I want to show you something, okay? See? This is why I brought you out here. Oh. <laughs>
Wow, how beautiful. Was it worth it? God, yes. <laughs> hey, there's something I've been meaning to ask you. Yeah? <gasps> Deacon? Will you... Will I? Will you, uh... <laughs> <laughs> So that a yes? On two conditions. Name them. Okay, well, the first one is that we don't have one of those biker weddings where you say that you're gonna ride me as much as your bike. Done. I couldn't promise that anyway. Oh, stop. Okay, the second one. The second one is that you never leave me. Done. God, did you just break your biker ring off my finger? Uh, you know what? <laughs> I think I probably Ooh. did. <laughs> Look at it. It's so cute with its little fangs just like clenching onto the chain. You know, nothing says true love like dog skulls. Dog skulls. <laughs> <laughs> hey, what does it say there? Oh, I'm sorry. I thought you knew Latin. Come on. No, it's Morier Invictus. <laughs> it means death before defeat. Wow, I like that. Well, you're gonna get me with a real ring, though, right? But not that this one's no, not absolutely, great. absolutely, because, I, I just you know, thought, that's my ring. Right, it's like your that. ring. Right. Something more simple, without fangs. Okay. <laughs> All right. oh, shit, I'm sorry. No, it's your ring. It's the lab, I gotta get it. Okay. Hello? Yeah, no, 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 it's fine, I'll be right there. Okay, bye. Is everything okay? I don't know. They need me back there. What? I gotta go. Uh, th this minute? Like, th this time of night? I'm sorry. I have to go, but I promise I'll make it up to you. Okay. Come on. Buzzkill. That's how we did it. Very biker way of doing it. wife's name was uh, Beth. No, I don't have a pick. Let's go. Oh, you do, but I definitely I want to find out why you've got that engagement biker ring. I don't want to choke him until he gives it to me. Ooh, scrap. Don't have <laughs> Nothing like scrap. Not unusual, you know. I'm sorry, what's that? To not have any photos of your wife, family. Yeah, why do you say that? Back in the day, everyone used smartphones. That's where we kept all our photos. The phones went away, the cloud went away. Photos went with him. Yeah, I guess I hadn't thought about that. My wife, Carrie. Her father was a photographer. Old school. Dark room, chemicals, all that. Too stubborn to embrace the digital age, I think. If it wasn't for him, I wouldn't have any photos either. Yeah, well, I hated him. Cell phones, I mean. It seemed like everyone walked around with their noses buried in the damn things. I never owned one. Interesting. How'd you manage that? Worked as a mechanic. I uh, I had my own shop. Probably had the last landline in Farewell. That isn't a bad point.
<sighs> you guys are taking this shit seriously. The Colonel believes with enough motivation and discipline, we can achieve anything. Come on, hurry your ass up. I'm going as fast as I can. Just move it! Is that your idea of motivation? The Colonel has set up a work camp on the south side of the island for those unfit to serve. Some of them require extra encouragement. I'll bet. Come on, follow me. Yes, sir. Stand up there with the others. Good luck, St. John. Got your ass too, huh? Hey, man. It's good to see you again. St. John, right? Son of the preacher, man? Taylor, what's this son of a preacher, man shit you keep saying? I'm just kidding with you, man. Hey, do you have any luck? What? The, the woman you were looking for, you and your peeps were riding with. No. I need all your jewelry, watches, shit like that. Come on, in the bag. What? Sure, man, whatever you say. The hell you say? Recruits aren't allowed personal effects. This side shit's just gonna get stolen. Come on. Cough it up. Oh, yeah, shit's gonna get stolen. Goddamn bullshit. Tin hot! Well, there's a colonel if I've ever bloody seen one. You ain't having none of my rings. At ease. Visitors are not welcome here. You are here because you were invited, recruited. By my trusted officers. When you answer me, start by giving me your name, last name first. Getting by, same as everybody. Name. Atkins, Crystal, sir. How many men have you killed? Before or after? Answer the question. Fuck you! We have all done things that we're not proud of. What? To survive, to stay alive. The Almighty understands this. Right. The Almighty yeah. forgives Amen. this. Amen. <laughs> but here, on this woman's face, are the footprints of Satan. <laughs> Prison tattoo. Proof of what you once were and no doubt still are. It's people like her that are responsible for bringing the wrath of the Almighty down upon us yeah. all. Yeah, that's right. <laughs> Take her to the work camp. What? Ah. You. Yeah. Fuck you. Come oh. on, gorgeous. Let's go. Goddamn redneck asshole. Get off of me. <laughs> God. What about Get you? Uh, you Taylor, uh, wait. And, um, no, sir. I, uh, never been to jail. Never killed anyone, nothing like that. You've been in the shit for a long time. Yeah, I mean, I, I know I know how to shoot stuff. My, my dad took me hunting when I was a kid at a, at a camp near Klamath Falls. It got... And how about you, son? You know how to use a gun? St. John, Deacon. Yeah, I know how to use a gun. You're a drifter. Hold out your right arm. Tenth Mountain, Iraq? Afghanistan. Honorable service and don't lie to me. I'll know. Served one tour, served with honor. Hated every goddamn minute of it. <laughs> Thou shalt not lie. Good man. Hold up your right hand. Do you solemnly swear to support and defend the new constitution of these United States? Against all enemies, natural and unnatural, to bear witness and support to the same, and to obey all orders without question. So, do you swear? I swear. Walk with me, son. Oh, 
Oh my god. If Captain Curry doesn't bring me many recruits these days, you must think highly of your combat skills. Uh, I've been in the shit a long time. You know your way around the freaks? Yes, sir. I, uh, I know as much as anyone, sir. Good, good. In here. We'll have the dog take a look at you. Oh, I'm just going to open the door for you then, eh? Pulse is strong. Good heart rate. Got a pretty nasty burn there. How'd that happen? Uh, had a run in with a wood stove. Wood stove, huh? Who dressed this? I did. No está mal. Not bad at all. Thank you. Keep it dressed or you're going to lose that arm. You hear me, amigo? <clears throat> yeah, yeah, I hear you. I want you to check back with me in a few days. Got it. Well, Doc? Ah, he's fit to serve. Lara bien. You doing runs out in the shit? <laughs> Sorry, Doc. Uh, ya tiene novia. Uh, he's spoken for. Let me guess. The Wizard Island Witch. Vaya con Dios. Good luck, amigo. <laughs> Let's go, son. I normally don't tolerate insubordination, referring to an officer as a witch. But I make exceptions for some of my more... Eccentric officers. Yes, sir. I make exceptions because every man and woman still living has a role to play. Do you believe in God, St. John? Hell no. Never gave it much thought, sir. Well, it's high time that you did. Wow. He has a plan for Conflicted. us, all of us. And my part is this. Sir? This place. I had a vision. Oh, nothing so grand as those described in the Old Testament. No flaming chariots or burning bushes. I simply woke up one morning before God's plague had rained down upon the world and knew that this was the place. Crater Lake, uh, Wizard Island. I call it the Ark. Are you familiar with the story? Yeah, I mean, yes, sir. I mean, everyone's everyone's heard of it. Indeed. You'd be surprised how few have read the Bible or the Book of Revelations. You mean Genesis, Noah's story. I mean, um, that... It's, it's the Book of Genesis, sir. Yes, of course. Okay, son, let's get you squared away. Whatever you say. Now, we don't have much in the way of uniforms, I'm sorry to say, but uh, I think that... Uh, oh, here. Try this on. <sighs> Seems to fit. I'll take that. Well, if you don't mind, this is a gift from an old friend. An old friend? Not many of those left anymore, are there? No, there are not. Okay, soldier. But I don't want to see you wearing it. You're one of us now. And normally, we start new recruits in the rank of private. But since Captain Curry has vouched for your experience in the field, we are starting you out at the rank of corporal. Thank Congratulations, you. son. Thank you, sir. Yeah. Let's get you some work. Oh, God. All right. Now, what was I saying? Uh, you were telling me about the Ark, sir. Yes, the Ark. What you see here is only a small part of it. Behind is this it is bad a whole that I want to of caves and vents that lead from here up to the I want to leave him in this cave. When our work is complete, they will be filled with thousands ring. of seeds, plants, my computer heart. files, and books. I just lost the my world patch. may die, but our achievements in medicine, science, and technology will not die with it. No, sir. But the island is more than just an ark, Corporal. It is a stronghold, a fortress. Here at the North Gate, we are stockpiling enough munitions to take the fight to the freaks. We have rifles, grenades. Heavy machine guns and RPGs. 
We have the equipment to make ammunition. Every type, every caliber. This is our mechanical engineering area. If you need your bike repaired, see the officer on duty. And as you can see here, courtesy of the old National Guard, we are building a fleet of trucks and other vehicles. Once the hordes are cleared from the highways, we will begin to rebuild the roads and bridges. Your slash and burn strategy may stop newts and swarmers, but it won't clear the highway. It won't, it won't stop the hordes, sir. We are aware, Corporal. The hordes. The hordes are a different beast entirely, aren't they? But we have a plan. Plan, sir? Benjamin Franklin once said, by failing to prepare, you are preparing to fail. We are not going to fail. The heart of the army lives here, at the gate, ready to move on my command. These tents house hundreds of women and men, just like yourself, who have pledged and sworn their lives to the fight. But I have something else in mind for you. An assignment that requires more than just the ability to survive in the shit or use a gun. Are you up for it, son? How long have uh, we yes, sir. Here? Wherever you need me. You asked how we were going to defeat the Horde? Let me show you. Okay, Lieutenant. Oh, hey, Colonel. Sorry about that. Too much acetone in that batch. Lieutenant Weaver is our chemical engineer. He's working on new ways to, to blow shit up, beat the enemy. Sorry, but yeah. Uh, name's Weaver. James. St. John, Deacon. All this militia shit's just for show, right, Colonel? Corporal St. John is new to Corey's unit. If you need anything from out in the shit. He's your man. Oh, shit, yeah. yeah. There's a couple of things I need. What are you working on? Oh, just the new gelling agent combining naphthenic and palmitic acid. You working on napalm? Mm -hmm. Yeah. <laughs> yeah. This dude knows his shit. Uh, just a lucky guess. Uh... <clears throat> Sorry to interrupt. Oh, any time. Oh, Colonel. I'm getting real close, Colonel. Very close. That's good. That's really good. Where are you going next, Colonel? Wizard Island Witch? That'll be all, Lieutenant. <clears throat> Again, let me apologize for my more eccentric officers. No need, sir. We have one final stop. As much as I believe in Lieutenant Weaver's work, what you're about to see could be, I think, our path to victory. In here. All right, what is this? Ma'am, I got everything on the requisition form. Does this look like fabric softener? No, ma'am. Hey, why don't you read it? <sighs> Active ingredients. Chlor chlor chloroform. And, uh, a turp turpin turp Get out. Shit. Get out! Matt, I can't do this if I have to do my own supply runs. I got it covered. Lieutenant Whitaker, this is Corporal St. John. He's a new member of Corey's unit. He's got some experience out in the shit. Read this. Read this. I mean, you can't read, can you? Active ingredients, chloroform, aterpenol, benzo alcohol, alathic acid. Good enough. When can he start? Ah, I'll leave you to it. Carry on, Lieutenant. Leave us. Stand at attention. So 
Sarah, I... Don't. Dead. You're supposed to be dead. Hey, hey, hey. You're dead. It's okay. You're dead. I'm right here. Wait, wait a, wait a second. I, I don't understand. I couldn't I find you. You had died, and I. Uh, no, we were overrun, and, and we had to go south. We, Nero, they yeah, said Nero, that no one no, made it out. Ryan, and Farewell was overrun. They said that everybody the was mountain. dead. I, didn't think that I never thought I would I see you again. again. Hey, hey, listen. Now we can ride out of here. We'll pick a direction. We won't look back. Come on. No, no, Deacon. I can't. Are they forcing you to stay here? No, you don't understand. We're fighting a war. Don't you see? This is a war that we can win. I ain't coming here to fight a war. I can be helpful. I can make a difference, but I... I can't go with you. I have to stay here. Don't you get it? You, you can stay here with me. Help me. Look, afterwards, whatever you say, we, we, we can go wherever you want. <clears throat> Colonel's looking for you. Whatever you say, ma'am. Wait, wait a second. Your requisition form. Thank you, soldier. Well, that kind of wasn't unexpected um, for her to not want to leave. She she ca she has points. She could make a difference. Riding out in the shit, you're just gonna be in the shit, and you're not gonna survive. Well, I have survived this long, but uh, not without uh, help from camps. They've got the weapons. They've obviously treated her well. That's kind of swayed me in towards wanting to be part of a militia, but um, I didn't think, I kind of thought she was going to be a zombie uh, or a freaker, a screamer of all things. Did not expect her to be the camp's um, botanist. She must be making certain plants for different things, but... Does she still hold him? I don't know if she does, but uh, she's definitely. Oh my god! Wait, the time. It's just. What happens now? Because all of my little mission things have been ticked off. What do I do? What's the next thing? This isn't the end. I was expecting it to be the end of the game. It just. And it's not. <laughs> crazy this game is just gets better and better let's keep going i suppose you can find out the story of what happened to her now i know eh? and he explains why she gave her ring away but why is he wearing it
Corporal St. John to Lieutenant Weaver. Come back. St. John to HQ. This is Weaver. What can I do for you, Corporal? Uh, your requisition form says you need mercury. Any idea where I can get it? Yeah, sure. I should have written that shit down for you. It comes from, uh, Cinnabar. Corey's unit scouted out of mine north of Diamond Lake. Head there, radio me when you arrive. Yes, sir. Hey, between you and me, if the colonel isn't around, stop with all the yes sir, no sir bullshit, all right? Makes me feel old. Right, eh? Will do. Got some runs to do. Corporal, what do you need? Sarge. What up? Can I go in there? I suppose I'm going to have to win a trust again. Corporal? Hey, I'm uh, new around here. Name's Deacon St. John. Pleased to meet you. I'm Ella Salazar. Just call me Sal. So, uh, this is where I bring bounty ears? Mm-hmm, this is the place. If you have any freaker ears, bring them to me. Got it. Okay, then. Corporal, you be well. Yeah, me too. There's a whole lot of screaming going on. Eddie Apuna. Who's that? Corporal, what do you need? Sir. Hey, you. I haven't seen you around here before. Name's Jacob D'Angelo. Everybody calls me D. St. John, Deacon. So, uh, you're the guy to come to for hardware? You got it, pal. You need guns? I got guns. If I don't have it, it was never made, you know what I mean? Uh, great, I'll, I'll keep that in mind. You got pretty shitty guns, bud. I got better than that. I got ammo. Oh, come cool. on, man. Dude, you got like the crappiest selection. Hey, Corporal, I see you. Corporal, need something? Ah, uh, you're gonna become my best friend. Okay. Name's Caleb. Caleb Tomlinson. Deacon St. John. Yeah, I, I just rode in. Oh, cool, man. Hey, listen, if you need something for your ride, you come see me. Between us? Lucas, the Canuck over at Diamond Lake, he'll rip you off, man. Great, well, keep that in mind. Huh. Corporal, later. That's where the bike is kept. And the kitchen's over here. I got some wolf fear. That's all I got. Can't believe I had so many credits though. None of them are interchangeable, of course. Ugh. And this is my new land. And there's my old land. <laughs> Can't go back there anymore though, which is kind of depressing because I did a lot but the, the pickings were getting low 
But surprising that both of these places don't know about each other. And she literally is over the pond. Not even over the pond, over the over the mountain, you know? It's been like two, three years doing stuff here, you know? Why? Why wouldn't you have crossed the border? There's the Diamond Lake. How much of this map have I got? Oh my god, it, it's another huge map. A semi huge map. Because that was loads to do up in this one. This is surrounded by water. Whew. Well, I'm not going to go talk to Corporal anymore. I'm going to go and do a little thing and do a little bit of exploring, I think. Get myself some kit and kaboo. It's a shame I can't go back and do a lot of these other things. I did unlock everything that I could unlock out there, though. Need to look for see if there's any stem in this area. Upgrade my shit. I was just getting to know every place as well. What's up? Deacon St. John, hey, uh, I mean, you know, nothing. Just, just, <laughs> just checking in on you. I haven't seen you since the old swearing in thing. What's some <laughs> shit, am I right? Taylor, you know, I'm kind of busy. What, hey, hey, what, what, the, what the hell you, you got, they got you doing? I'm, I'm in the damn infantry or something. Saying. Well, hey, hey, what, what the, what the hell you, you got? They got you doing? I'm, I'm in the damn infantry or some shit. Spend all day burning out nests, chopping down trees, hauling wood. So, so, sorry, what, are, what are you doing? Research. They got me going out into the shit, finding supplies for the officers, working on wood. Oh shit! Oh, I heard about that. Yeah, yeah, working on, uh, on uh, bio weapons, uh, chemical weapons, shit like that. Burn them freaks to the ground. Am I right? <laughs> yeah, look, Taylor, I gotta go. All right, all right, hey, um, hey, look, man, it's, uh, it's just, I'm, I'm, I'm having second thoughts about all this military shit, you know. Uh, Taylor, what radio are you on? Are you sure that you're not being monitored? Oh, shit. Huh, that's what I thought. Gotta go. St. John out. Deacon 
St. John. <laughs> hey, you got your ears on, man? Hey. Hey, what? What do you mean? There you are. Okay. Uh, so I finally figured out how to use this damn thing. Alright, I gotta secure. <laughs> Who's that? So, uh, what, what were you saying? There you are. Okay. Uh, so I finally figured out how to use this damn thing. Alright, uh, I got a secure hey. channel and everything. So, how's it going, man? Taylor, I'm kind of dead you right now, so. Yeah, 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 yeah. Sorry, man. Sorry. <laughs> uh, hey, so, words out in the camp that trucks are making their way in right under the colonel's nose. <laughs> it's good stuff, too. But do you know anything about that? I don't do drugs, Taylor, so no, I don't know anything about it. Why? No, 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 I don't, I don't either. I'm <laughs> More bounties. Uh, you were saying something? No, 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 I don't, I don't either. I'm just, I saw this guy, you know, one of the new recruits acting all suspicious. You're right, Zanin? And out of camp all the time, and so I thought I thought I'd follow him, right? <laughs> Let's see what the hell he's about. Ah, god damn it. Taylor, listen to me. You just go to Corey, let him handle it. You got that? Yeah, 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 yeah. That's a good call. Yeah. Okay, Mr. <laughs> St. John, I'll uh, I'll talk to you later, man. Yeah, uh, out. <laughs> Jesus Christ, Taylor, what the hell are you doing? This is Radio Free Oregon. The truth shall set you free. The feds were whining babies, suckling at the teat of us taxpayers. But dumb as they were, we can't underestimate them. You gotta know that Chief Muckety Mucks are hiding out there in some bunker, waiting for the freaks to die off. Got you. They didn't save the hungry, or their precious constituents. You know the real reason they're in power. They saved the elite. The men and women who played ball. They're sitting underground, probably drinking champagne while they wait. Meanwhile, we're out here dying, suffering. Also, the feds can hit the damn reset button. But they didn't account for one thing. We're not as stupid as they thought we were. And once they emerge to reclaim the world when the freaks are gone, we'll be waiting. Oh, yes, we will. They'll be sorry they ever came out of hiding. This is Mark Copeland for Radio Free Oregon. Don't believe the lies. Ah, oh, Jesus, even all the way down here, I can't get away from goddamn Radio Free Oregon. It appears not, sir. Uh, it appears not. There are a lot. That's right, I killed your queen. I'm out here. Ah. It's good uh, that uh, the old staple hasn't um, been removed. Wait, that's behind me. Okay, just them. All right, I gotta go all the way up here. Hopefully, I won't run out of fuel. Let's go.
Kill them all, kill them all, kill them all. Aha! Some scrap! Just what I needed. I got a feeling. I got a feeling. I am gonna do this every single place I find. Ooh, yes, thank you all that. That does not sound healthy up in the distance. That's a horde. Way too open to have the. Uh, to be caught. Was that hot? Oh, it's definitely a different place. I can hear you. Where are you? Part of me wants to deal with this, and part of me does not. And there is a lot. Technically, I could take a few of them out, and if I chuck a flame out there, I have no cover whatsoever, though. And it's handy to have a bit of cover at least. I could use the... Um, a tractor. But there is that case of getting myself murderized. And now that it's daytime, some of them are clearing off. Part of me really wants to deal with them. I know I've got enough to kill them all. Where do they go? Oh, they're just despawning. Pop, 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 pop. Never seen that before. Okay. 
There must be a place where they live though. And it was taking me right past it. God, that's the first time. I'm full. Always can do with a bit of scrap though. Be a horde home here somewhere. A little bit worse for wear there. So you can't go in the water. He's got a fear of it. Can't remember what. Well, we don't know why. Uh, I've got a feeling we're going to find out. I've just come from here, haven't I? Yes. Looks like I'm gonna have to get some snow wheels. Lieutenant Weaver, you there? I'm at the mine. Good, good. Okay, man. You take a look around. The report I saw listed ore testing kit. You're gonna need one. <laughs> ore testing kit. Copy that. Uh, the center bar is kind of red, but not shiny. It'll have a dull luster to it. Gonna be hard to miss. Test the ore. It's gotta be at least 60% pure, or I can't use it. All right, got it. Testing kit, testing kit. Where the hell am I gonna find an ore testing kit? Maybe one of these uh, shacks? <sighs> Nothing in here. Fuel can. Yeah. I need a testing kit. I don't need fuel. Why can't I... Probably can, hang on. Nope, can't get in there, okay. I oh, surely I should be able to get in there. Ah, there we go. Here we go. Or testing kit. Yeah. Enter the mine. Gives me a fuel can. Can of fuel.
I could probably chuck it out. I'm going to have to blow that up for sure. Oh no, I can push that out of the way. One more shack to check down. Do I really want to go into a mine? Is that really going to be a good idea? One. Give me the tools to make my own. Got one already, baby. Ah, oh, just. Map would be nice. Say Red Rock, the luster. Cinnabar, yeah. Okay, let's test you out. Yes, you'll work. Oh, there's so many dead. They're definitely in there, aren't they? Alright, before I go in there, I'm going to take a little break. Get myself a... we'll go for a toilet break. So, I'll be back in the BRB. Because I'm going for a wee. See you in two or three, maybe five. Get your comments coming in. If you're watching live, also I'm going to check how long I've actually been streaming for. I'll see you in a minute. I'm not sure if my door is creaking or if it's creaking in my ear holes because it's freaking me out.
Okay, I'm back. Right. <sighs> Let's go down the hole then. Why? Baby steps, baby steps, baby steps, baby steps. Kind of fuel. Got a feeling I'm going to need it. Of them. Let's see if this pump is working. That is not the last of them. That's all of them. This is going to bring down hell on me, isn't it? That should be it. Apparently 
no. Okay. There's something here that I'm menacing. Not letting me. There we go. Okay, let's test you out. All right. One or two more samples is all I need. Elevator shaft. Oh, God damn it. Wonder where this goes. Only one way to find out. Elevator shaft. There, going up. Oh, it's not going to show me going up. What's up here? Another tunnel. Looks like this one was abandoned a long time ago. Oh, I haven't been up here before. like a little nest. A 
narrow beacon in here. Another micro recorder. One of these is going to explain Jesus, what the hell you guys are doing yes. out here. Yes, it is. Field note 2072. We're at site 69. The... Where are we? The Lost Cabin Mine. Thank you. The Lost Cabin Mine. We have euthanized a specimen of Homo sapiens mutans corporosis using 10,000 milligrams of ketamine. Reference field note 2071 where 6,000 milligrams was barely enough to subdue the Homo sapiens mutans albino. We tracked this subject from its primary habitat and structures on the northern rim of Crater Lake, what used to be the visitor's center, I believe, to this mine. Currently, we have no working theory as to the subject's migratory habits, living patterns, or... How about why it's so goddamn big? Got any theories about that? Yeah, as a matter of fact, we do. Really? Yeah. Blood tests have shown that Homo sapiens mutans corporosis have extremely elevated amounts of anabolic steroids. Wait, so what? Before they became infected, they were roided out? Basically, yeah. Not that they were all bodybuilders or athletes taking illegal synthetic androgens. Some probably had naturally high levels. The result's the same. Yeah? What's that? They can literally tear you in half. Come on, let's get these samples crated up and get out of here. Oh, <laughs> roided out freaks. That's just great. Yep, we already know about those, bud. Another Cover narrow down. ejector. Good. It's been so long, I don't even know which one I need now. Um, focus? Yeah, focus. You gotta focus. There's two ways out. I'm going to go down to that one a minute, see if it is. Yeah, I'm going to go down to that, uh, that other one. Because it's not an exit. Oh, I thought it was. Yeah, it is an exit. There's one exit. Kind of want to have a look at the other one though. Lieutenant Weaver, this is St. John. I've got the Cinnabar you asked for. St. John, good, good. I'm almost ready for it. I'm, oh, hold on a sec. Can I help you, Lieutenant? Weaver, I ran out of isopropyl alcohol. Do you have any? Yeah, I got a bottle of vodka back in my tent. Stop by later. Jesus, you never give up, do you? Don't be such a stranger. Fuck off. St. John. Yeah, sorry about that. Anyway, yeah, just drop off the hall as soon as you can. I got some more shit I need you to get. Weave it out. Stay off my lady, Weaver.
Well, that didn't go as planned. Fuck the bike. Been smoking near dead now. There's the horde's home. That's slightly disappointing. I don't like them. Fucking screamers. He sounds so pleasant and all of a sudden No. Oh god, that sounds like a big one. Okay. No, he's not a big one. Kill as many as you can though. Oh there comes a wolf. I'm gonna I'm gonna leave you. You're not attacking me yet. Whoa! What the fuck is that? No, thank you! No! Whoa! Never seen one of these before. 
Dead now, but... I guess I have to... Cougars, okay. I was going to leave it too, but it tried to hurt me first. It's coming right at me. Quick save. You can all tell uh, which one's going to be my main place to uh, take stuff for now, eh? Sergeant. Sir, I've been busy. Okay then. That's it for now. Okay. Mm-hmm. You'll get used Purple. to me. Goodbye. See you, Sergeant. I remember it like it was yesterday. I was at the dog park in the hey, old Sergeant. District. Hey, D. We got a question for you. What the hell's an East Coast City boy doing all the way the hell out here? Actually, yeah. I uh, served with a guy from Long Island. Accent's kind of hard to miss. No shit, right? Let me tell you, man. Before shit went down, I used to run this website called You Need Guns? I Got Guns dot com. Oh, Jesus. Holy shit. That's where I've seen you before. You had a, you had a cable show. Uh, my old man used to watch it back in the day. Hey, your old man had good taste. Goddamn right I did. I used to travel the country hitting up out of the way gun shows, flea markets, shit like that. Ah, I guess this is about as out of the way as it gets. I guess it isn't that, huh? I I didn't ask to hear your life story. Just leave it. Okay? Corporal. See you around. <sighs> Corporal, so, man, I gotta tell you something. Okay. I knew you from before. Well, not personally, you know, but... I'm from Farewell. Same as you. And me and my friends, we used to watch you guys around town. The, the mongrels, I mean. Riding those hogs, wearing your leathers. Man, we thought you guys were so badass. Right. Is that right? 
Yeah, yeah, man. Had a lot of free time on my hands. I, uh, I um, had to drop out of high school, you know. Um, knocked up my girlfriend, <laughs> had to get a job. Hey, if you ever decide to, you know, start up an MC, mongrels, whatever, just count me in, okay? I'm down. Yeah, don't hold your breath. Sure, man. Yeah, no, just, just saying. Sure, man. I always do uh, need a mechanic, as long as you're loyal. Keep you in mind. <sighs> Corporal, later. That's all I got for now. Move along. Shut up. Lieutenant. <laughs> nah, man. Leave that shit by the door. No, 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 no. I mean all that army shit. Oh. Okay. Uh, <clears throat> I think that's what you were looking for. All right. Yeah. This is great. Hey, just wait a second. Here. Polystyrene. Yeah, you know, like white foam coffee cups, packing peanuts, shit like that. Yeah, got it. Hey, man. By the way, how did it go? With the Wizard Island Witch? You mean Lieutenant Whitaker? <sighs> man, I thought you were going to leave all that shit by the door. That'll be all, Corporal. That'll be all. Leave all that shit by the door while I can talk smack about my woman. Just expect the uh, non respect. I'm a good soldier, eh? Well, all that's left is a bit of story to do, it looks like. God, I can't see anywhere else I can explore that's going to let me explore yet. So, I think... It's pretty late, so I'm going to say thank you very much for watching, if you're watching live on Twitch. And if you're watching this back on the YouTube channel, thank you very much for watching all the way to the end. If you have enjoyed it, you know what to do. you got to leave a thumbs up, hit that bell if you're new, because you're going to get uh, notifications when I either upload the next one, because I might be keeping it here on Twitch, just in case, just out of uh, pure wanting to bring some more content to my twitch channel and uh yeah either hit follow or hit subscribe totally up to you it all depends on where you're watching but otherwise guys my name once again has been blute 084 art and games b l u t 084 art and games saying good night good fright and i'll see you next friday Bye for now.